Hey there, YouTube. Wheelhouse Kraus. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I've been moving from uh, Central Canada, uh, now on the beautiful West Coast. So, never got to it when I was in uh, Ontario, but now I'm gonna go over uh, my get home bag. Get home bags are an important part of the uh, the bug out bag, I mean, the, the get home to bug out or the get home to take care of your family system. Um, this bag always stays in my pickup truck, um, changes based on my, requ my requirements in Ontario were a lot different than they are th here in British Columbia. My requirements in Ottawa were 40 kilometers down the Ottawa River kind of thing and and now my requirements are, you know, I mean, you say like, as the bird flies, um, three kilometers to get home. But the problem is, and you'll see inside the bag that, you know, I have, I have to do a little bit of a swim across a, a harbor. Um, without that swim, it turns my commute into 12 kilometers, um, but it's all open. I mean, this way, if I do the swim with, for maybe 600 feet, um, I can get to a, a nice, uh, you know, concealed walk to my house where I have all my gear so I can, whatever it has to be, it has to be. If I can't, chances are I can take my truck, but if I can't, I'm grabbing this bag. So, I've had this bag for a while. It's Maxpedition. I don't know the, uh, I don't know the name of it, the model, but I could probably look it up and put it in the links below. So, first thing you notice on the outside is I have a CPR little kid here. Um, I got her on a first aid course and, um. It has a, a face shield and some gloves. The two things that you need. And on the outside of the bag, I thought it was perfect. Um, there's tons of molly straps on here. You can put anything you really need. Um, everything I, I'm using is going to be on the inside. Uh, I don't need really anything on the outside. Here's it, it's uh, it's great quality Maxpedition. Uh, I recommend it um, above knockoffs, 100%. So we'll start with the first pouch here. This front pouch. Uh, what we have in here is kind of like the first things that I'm going to need to get to. Um, some gloves in case you have to do a little bit of work. Uh, they're not leather work gloves. I have those in my bug out bag. But these are good enough for just kind of any kind of short term work I'm going to have to do. Um, next, I have some goggles. Um, tinted. The reason I have these is because of that swim across the harbor. You know, 600 feet, I, it's salt water. I don't want to get that in my eyes, you know. I want to be able to see where I'm going. Uh, so an extra pair of uh, sterile gloves and uh, two different lengths of paracord. Next, in the kind of admin type pocket, uh, there's some lip balm, uh, some lifesavers, and uh, just a pocket buck knife. It's not a bad little knife. Just good enough to start, you know, cut the paracord, stuff like that. Something you need on just a short excursion home. Also in here, I have some hand sanitizer, uh, some pens and pencils, a field notes uh, notebook. I really like these field notes books because in the back they have like a ruler. They have, you know, practical applications, specifications, things like that. They have some conversions in here. Um, it's just a great all-around book. Not waterproof but just a great book. Uh, also in here I have the small little Pelican 1910. It's a great little flashlight, just good enough. I mean, I don't know what time of day I'm gonna be but, or getting home in. Could be any time, especially now with the time changes. You know, right now it's 420 and it's starting to get a little bit dark outside. So, one of the reasons I love this bag, as you can see, is that there's two pockets, a front pocket, and then there's this main inner pocket. So. We'll go to this first one, first pocket here. As you see, if, you, if I have to spend the night somewhere, I can hang this up and it's not gonna open. It's gonna open a little bit, but the, the second pocket clamshells, this one doesn't. So obviously you can hang it, put some stuff in the front. So in here I just have some random pressure bandage and a triangular bandage. Pressure bandage, you obviously know what that's for. You know, you, I mean, you fall, you slip on a rock getting out of the water. Boom, you can rip that open, put it right onto your, your head, your arm, whatever you cut. A triangular bandage, I mean, that's a little bit different. It's It can work for a sling, 
It can work for something to cover your head, your face, for dust particles. You can use this to drain or to um, you know um, filter out um, heavy particulate for filtering water if you had to. It's very universal. In here, I have just a small little baggie with some hearing protection, some Tide singles, some Energy C, Vitamin C drinks to add to water, it's just some Gaviscon, alcohol wipes, and some wet wipes. Um, it's kind of a smorgasbord of, you know, random things that I could use. Um, you know, besides being a get home bag, it's also a, hey, this bag is in my truck bag, and it could be something that I need. You know, you never know at work, so on and so forth. I call it the the pee pee the poop paper. Um, it's it's you know what I I don't mind coglins. Um in my bug out bag. I have a full roll just squished into a Ziploc bag. I think it's kind of commercial, you know, to have this small little thing, but it's a perfect size. It's small, and I'm not if I use it, it's like three bucks at Mac. I have a life straw in here. I live in BC. I trust BC water. Um, fresh water is abundant, but you just never know. You never know where I'm gonna be. My this, I mean, not only is my get home bag, but it's inside my truck. I could be somewhere. The truck can break down. I need some water. I have a life straw, small compass um, on a little like wristband. I mean, it's always good to have a secondary. Um, I also have my watch. I have a Casio Pathfinder has a compass. This has a compass, and I have a GPS. Speaking of another compass, um, I have a, a larger uh, Silva. I'm a big proponent of having maps. I have maps in my bug out bag, but as a get home bag, I also have a uh, provincial map of British Columbia in my truck, but I have the compass as a backup. I just don't know if I'm ever gonna need it. I know how to get home, and I also have the map in my truck if I need it. Uh, we have some batteries in here, some AA and triple A's, you know, for the flashlights. Um, just extra batteries are always good to have. In here, I have a fire starting kit. I really like Universal uh, Survival Technologies. They have great stuff, but here's the deal. I bought this kit, and I really like the idea of the waterproof container. So I just changed it up for my needs. I have a fire lighting kit in my bug out bag, but I wanted something different for a get home type bag. So I kept the fire starter, the fire still. I kept the wet fire that's in here, but instead of having the four that were in here, I just kept two, put the other two into a different pouch. And I added the Bic lighter. And in the top, I also added um, cotton balls and Vaseline. Now, I like the idea of this, this, this little container. It came in handy and I got to, you know, change it to suit my needs. There's also a little cordage on there, a little carabiner for any type of, you know, need that I could have. I think it's great to buy things like this and then customize it to your needs because what, what the Bugo bag is all about in the get home bag is customizing to your needs of what you need to get home. Some people could need to get home across a desert. So their bags will be way different than my bag where I need to get 600 feet across, you know, a, you know, a, a harbor and then walk for three kilometers to my house. Bags are gonna be different. So speaking of different again, in here I have some candles, some tin foil, and a large orange bag, garbage bag. Now this isn't the garbage bag that I'm gonna to use to put my, my clothes and my, my gear in to keep it dry going across. This is something I'm gonna use as a shelter. I'm gonna split it down the, the sides and along the bottom. I think I saw Ranger Kooky and uh, Bob uh, 808 Knight do this. And it worked great. You could, it's waterproof. You can put boughs over top of it to keep it down, so on and so forth. Um, it's great. So keep it in there. Hopefully I'll never have to spend the night on my way home, but you just never know. You know, this bag is in my truck. You know, I could come across, you know, break down somewhere and I'm gonna need to spend the night the side of the road, whatever. You know, it's, it's there and you need it and it's perfect for that application. Also this, this little tool. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know the name of it. If you know the name of it, please put it in the comments. But how many times have you, you know, in the summertime wanted to turn on a tap of an apartment building or your work, and you notice that they took the little wheel off the, the spout, right? You can't turn it to open it. So what this does is it has different sizes to fit different sizes of the spouts. 
so you can turn on water on your walk. It's a great tool. It was like eight bucks at home hardware. Highly recommend it. Okay, Q-tips. I'm a sucker for clean ears. And you can use this for any kind of application. If you get a cut and there's some glass or dirt in there, you could use it to take it out. Tons of, uh, tons of uses. Also, some hot hands. I got this because, you know, swimming across the water, you know, once I put my clothes back on or dry off, you know, I still could have that chill. Can't hurt to put it into pockets, under your armpits, whatever you need it for. Uh, and then this last little pouch here, a bandana. Another thing, maybe it's super hot. Maybe I need to, after that swim, I need to keep put it in the water, put it on my head, I need to wipe sweat. Um, use it as a quick uh, bandage, a tourniquet, even though I have a trauma kit in my truck, which you've seen the review on my channel. Just a hundred uses for a bandana. And that is everything in that first pocket. So now we're gonna go to the clamshell pocket. In here is the bulk of my gear, I think. So, you see how nicely that clamshell opened? Let me check the, yep, video, you can see that perfectly. So, I don't need to go through this. My EDC by Maxpedition, it's Maxpedition Beefy. Um, I did a review, check out the review on my page. This goes everywhere in my truck, it stays in this bag. It is essential to my everyday need. Tons of stuff in here. I mean, I have it packed full, to be able to see. It's a great video, so please watch it. And again, you know, subscribe to my channel, leave comments, uh, tell me what you think. So, the first two things, water. Instead of putting a water bottle in here, I decided to put two bottles of water, um, refillable. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need that much water on my way home if it's just the, the get home portion. Uh, so just two bottles is good enough. I have some miscellaneous food. I have some grown roller bars. I have a five hour energy, some tuna, some sport beans, uh, some peanuts, and uh, some Cliff Bar shot gels. They're really good. They're tasty and they give you tons of energy and some more of these vitamin C drinks. In here I have my Mora. It's a great knife. I love it, love the case. I decided to put this red tape on there because um, in the nighttime, I mean, it's a black handle. Um, could fall in some leaves. The red might catch my flashlight a little easier um, in case the blade's under some leaves or something. Uh, it also has a little knife sharpener on it. I've never used it. I prefer to use my ceramic one. And it also has a little fire still right in there. It's such a good little kit. I actually, um, when I first got into uh, prepping and, you know, uh, survival stuff um, five years ago or something, I bought it used for $30. A guy was selling it and it was like my first survival knife so I like it you know carving cutting up fish whittling anything really it's a great universal knife um, an all-weather poncho and an emergency survival blanket straightforward uh, a first aid kit I know it's again Coglins. I bought it on Mac but I, I changed it to suit my needs I put some extra things in here um, some crazy glue to uh, seal up some cuts some extra bandages, stuff that I'm going to use more than it was in there. Um, I'm going to go right into this, this blister medical kit. Um, it's for prevention and treatment. I've used this before, uh, mainly when I was in uh, Frontenac Provincial Park. Uh, we, it was a huge hike. Man, did I didn't have, my feet weren't used to the boots I was in. Boom, this thing saved my life. The kit that's inside, everything that's on there, these uh, glacial gel patch, uh, packs, you put right onto your skin. Man, it just soothed it. Highly recommend it. You get it at Mac. Uh, some glow sticks. You just don't know when you're going to need some uh, some light. I chose the red for my night vision in case it's at nighttime. Um, it takes 30 minutes to get your night vision back um, once naked light has uh, ruined it. So you either sit there and you, you just ruffle through your bag or you get some red type lighting, which doesn't ruin your night vision. So... And my pack towel. I got this towel at Mech. Again, it's the extra large if you're into uh, the weight and so on and so forth. You could get a smaller one. This is the extra large one. It's beautiful. It wicks the water away from your skin. It's quick drying. It has this nice bag where it has this open mesh where it can dry. You can hang it on the outside of your bag. Um, you could hang the towel on the outside of your bag if you had to just to dry it while you, mar while you, while you march, while you're hiking along. It's great. So in the top here, a couple of things um, again mech even a lot of people look at this and say you know what though I've lived in British Columbia my whole life I know what the wildlife I know what the trees are okay well that's good but 
you know, I don't. I spend $7 on each of these things. It talks about the animals, the different species, it has tracking information, um, has a provincial parks map on the back, and also the trees and wildflowers. I mean, it's perfect. It tells you exactly what these things are, if they're edible, not edible, it's perfect. Uh, and, you know, if you are staying overnight, it's something for you to read. I mean, keeping your mind occupied is just as important as being safe out there and you know, taking care of your body. Boredom kills. Uh, in here, I have some Ziploc bags. I think I have four of them with some elastics. You never know, you catch a fish, you wanna save it. Uh, zap straps, some small ones. And in here I have uh, four garbage bags, large contractor bags. That is what I'm gonna use to, when, when I swim across the harbor, I'm gonna use these bags, the one bag, to put all my clothes in. Um, my shoes, the bag, everything, and then swim across, keep everything dry, float a little bit, get some air in there, use the elastics to close it off, and then get to the other side, use the towel, dry off, and then continue on, the, on my uh, journey. And the last two things, duct tape wrapped around an old card, I think it's a Starbucks card, and a spork. You just never know. I know I don't have any food. Well, maybe the tuna, right? You can use it to eat the tuna. So all in all, this is what I think I would need for my get home bag. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. Maybe I'm emphasizing on things when I should be emphasizing on others. But everyone knows that if you, you change your get home bags, your bug out bags, a thousand times a, a week, a month, right? I mean, if you're in there enough, you find something when you're out and you put it in, you add it. So it's an ever changing work in progress, whatever you want to say. But this is what I have. Um, please comment, please subscribe. Um, if you think there's something I should have in here that I don't, please let me know. You know, this is a, an open forum. People learn from this kind of stuff. We need to be a team on this um, to help everyone out. Um, besides that, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, this is my first uh, video on my new GoPro. So um, expect more videos uh, more frequently. This is Wheelhouse Kraus. Roger out.